Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 5 of the Valencia save and things are getting a little bit more spicy in the camp as we saw that 5-1 win against Real Sociedad which was a good one. We've got to sort our simming out and then once we do that we'll be on good form. So we've got a big month. We are in January. You saw it in the previous one. We've got some big teams in there. So let's get into January, try and get the win and get more points and get us edge closer to that Champions League spot. I'm just going to show you January again. If you have missed it or come into a late episode, I will show you January. January looks like this. So we've got Espanyol, Real Madrid, Sevilla, and Atletico Madrid. Now, I am thinking about playing the Espanyol and the Sevilla games because we have already played Atletico Madrid and we played Real Madrid. We played them quite, like, just two episodes ago. So keeping it to different teams might be the play here. So I might go Espanyol. We sim Real Madrid, we play Sevilla, and we sim Atletico Madrid. And then, then that takes us into February, where we play Real Sociedad again, uh, Alaves, Barcelona, and Mallorca. We'll probably do that, see how it goes, and hopefully we can get some wins on the, the sims as well. But let's get straight into the first game, and that's against Espanyol at home, and the board wants us to win so many home games. So this is a big one for us that we need to win and must win. Team is going to be pretty much the same. Gil and Musa have swatched sides. So Gil is on the left and Musa is on the right hand side. And then obviously we've got Sule and Rakic in the middle there, who are our main winners of the ball. And Guedes, our creative player, is going to do the job for us. So let's try and get a win here. We have started playing some football right now and we're going to break with Musa. Can he find the free ball to Guedes? He certainly can. Guedes across the keeper, finishes it, sorts it away. Proving our counter-attacking football is absolutely clinical and on point at the minute. And Guedes, in this central forward role, is turning into an absolute monster. The centre mids are just like turning into unbelievable players as Guedes once again comes through. Finds Brian Gill, finds Guedes. Guedes with a touch. He's going to hit it. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought that rippled the net. I honestly thought that rippled the net to me. Double the lead in quick succession. But Guedes is becoming my favourite player at the minute. He's unbelievable. Throw in to Espanyol. They're going to take it nice and quick. Going back to the centre off. So they're going to try and build up from the back here. That's a great pass. Splitting everyone. We have got a lot of players back there, which is nice to see. As they're still going to push through and try to find the gaps. As Nico's going to run down at the left. Can't get the ball in, so we have to just carry him out. That's a bad pass into the box. Then, but that gives us a big chance to break. As Musia comes running forwards. Wow, a trip up there trying to stop the play. Another one. It's not going to happen though. Oh, okay, it is. We, we messed that up. We messed that up. And the counter-attack is on for Espanyol. That's a great ball. To find Muli. Leads to nothing. A bad clearance from us, which is poor. That's not like us. We've been doing real well in these past games. So we need to stop that. As the strength play on the Espanyol is brilliant. As the long shot comes in. And Sillison easy to lead straight back to him though unfortunately not meant to be we're going to try and break it down as lopez plays into wooly and wooly finishes it once again that poor pass in the center there leading to a goal and we're quite famous for them poor passes it's a good finish from wooly as well it's not what we wanted to see guys this is very poor from us we've been playing really well and i've really cut out them bad passes which has been nice to see but one's come back to haunters but we do break with Meza. These tackles are absolutely crazy, and that is, of course it is. Of course it's a Guedes injury. Yeah, our best player, who's been, like, second to none all the way through, and just found his new position, has now got injured. That is not good. Please, Guedes, get up and prove me wrong. That you're fine. You're fit. I can't deal without you, because you are my best player at the minute, and banging goals in left, right, and centre. That's a big tackle from Akanji. A big tackle, and great calmness as well, to play the ball out. As Rakic's going to get it. To Soler, lovely play. Great play as well to Brian Gill. The overlap as well, lovely. Guedes, Rakic is there on the run. Oh, he's a bad pass to Musa. As he makes the run, Rakic to Guedes. Guedes, Akers, taps it in. Get in there. Guedes with his knock. We need to have a look at our knock, how bad that knock is. But it's great play. Good passing around. Finds him in space. And he just slots it away. Past the goalkeeper. Can't get it. And it is 2-1. I think my plan is going to be to see Guedes out for the last five minutes and then potentially bring him off because he he is an influential player and a what an influential player and I don't want him getting injured for 
even longer. I don't want the injury game worse because that's what seems to happen when you play on. The injury gets worse and worse and worse, and we can't afford to lose him for much longer, especially with the big games that we have got as well coming up. Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, we can't have him missing for them. Sevilla as well have been chucked in there. They are some good teams, and that is going to be really bad for us if we cannot get him playing football. Oh, that's great play. Good one-twos and a great finish from Wooley yet again. Good one-two, good ball movement. Dragged our centre off out of position, and Wooley with a fantastic finish just slotted it away past Silly Sinti. Drag it level on the stroke of half time. Guedes is off the pitch. We've brought him off. It's not ideal. We don't really have another centre forward that we can go in there. So I'm playing Soler there. Hopefully he can do a job as he, he breaks through. Oh, that was to Brian Gill. Why was it? Oh, why did the ball not go all the way through then? Oh, dear. And this, that little shimmy of pace is absolutely disgusting as he dances past our player. But Guedes is gone off. We've not risked him. Soler's going to try and do a job as a CF. I don't think he's played there before, but it's time for him to... Oh, that's a bad pass from us. That is a bad pass from us. That's going to lead to a goal. As a Kanji gets back and does what he is told to do and win the ball back for is lovely. Brian Gill's on the run. Great run as well. Soler's there. Can we get the ball into him? Soler's there. Oh, what a save that is. Is that Diego Lopez? The old, oh my God, what an old goalkeeper. And what a legend as well. What a hell. He's in there in the top ranks of goalkeepers in my eyes. As I love my goalkeepers. And he is up there with one of my favourites. As the ball gets played out now by Espanyol from that save. It's a good knock. Can we get the block? Yes, we can. Great play from Carrera. Manage to keep it in. Akanji. Only, oh, Akanji. <sighs> Poor header from Akanji, only leading to them to have a strike. And that was not the pass that I wanted the ball going to. But unfortunately, we've got to try and deal with this now as the ball gets played through. It's a good block in the center of the box as we're going to bring it out with Musa now. Heavy touch. We got away with it, though. Ball's going to get played with the switch. Lovely play. I see Brian Gill running. Good touch. Finds the gap. No, bad pass again. Center passes, guys. We know we're bad with them. We've got to improve them. We know that's our weak spot, and we need to sort that out as a Kanji with a great winner there. Putting off the striker, going all the way back to the goalkeeper. We reset, and we go again. We're just keeping the ball here. I can't really find anything. That's the problem. Like, look how many players they have back. It's so cram-packed in that area and around that area. I just can't break them down. There is nine players standing in front of me, and it is so hard to break that down and try and get the the break. There's Polista, though. I don't know what he's doing there, and I'm a little bit worried now that he's there. Gets the ball. So there. Oh, just the, he just needed a simple pass to Rakic, and he would have absolutely had a great chance. As he oh, tries to play it through yet again. Yeah, he is... Soler is not a CF. He really isn't a CF, and he is proving... Right now, that he is not one neither. It's not good, and it's very, very like that. They just need to flick the ball, and we can't catch them. No, no matter what, we just can't catch them with that flick. So, we need to win this edit. Oh, that's not good. That is big. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. As Brian Gill comes across, finds it in the middle. He's got acres of space. Oh, great interception from Gaye. Fantastic play as we're going to break with Soler. Can we get Maximiliano Gomez on the run? Yes, we can. Come on, Soler. Make that run again, buddy. Make that run. Make that run. Soler, Soler, Soler. Soler in the 89th minute might have just won this game. We said he wasn't to CF, but he's putting the doubters down with that fantastic run and a great finish to weekly as well. To shield him off using his centre defensive midfield attributes there to shield off the defender. And he just rifles it in the back of the net to give us a 3-2 lead. There we go. There is the full-time whistle as well. And this is why we love football for late night drama. Just like that in the wonderful town of Valencia as we get another three points on the board. And that brings us even closer to then Champions League spots. The smile on my face says it all. And that's a great result. And we go on to the next one. News has just come in is a sprained knee injury for Guedes. He is out for four weeks. That is a month out and that is massive for us because we've got some big games, like I said previously, coming up and that is not what we need to see. Also, guys, I am completely losing my mind as I forgot to show you the month of December where we won 2-1 against Vigo. We won 2-1 against Alch and then we won 4-1 against Levante. We skimmed this one because I thought it'd just be interesting or not that interesting to go through these ones. But they were the results. We won them all. We're keeping this good form with the 3-2. And we have Real Madrid 
Next. It's time to play Real Madrid. We're going to play it. You know what? Stop it. We're going to play it. I'm going to show you the game against Real Madrid. Let's see if we can do a job against them. Interesting side. As you say, they signed Theo Hernandez, which is a great signing for Real Madrid. I think he'd suit that team very, very well. Playing Vazquez as right back is really interesting. He's not really a right back. He's more right winger. And Valverde on the wing as well. Interesting. It's nice to see Camavinga gain in on the team as well. as a fantastic future ahead of him. So I'm really happy to see Camavinga in that team as well. Benzema going to do what he does best and that is just score goals so let's try and crack on with them we are do make one change as marcus andre who's going to be our new cf purely because i like soler and rakik as the cms but let's get into it let's see if we can beat them i'm always a little bit worried playing real madrid because they are a unbelievable side and they just know how to pass the ball around and they are clinical that's what scares me the most they are very very clinical with the ball they just don't give up possession easily and we've got to be careful with that so we don't lose it as the ball comes through and that should have been a one nil already as Helder costa is back in the team if you've not seen that Helder costa is back in the team as vinicius jr is just going to run as fast as he can if he goes any faster he's going to go back into the future because he is like lightning oh that's a good play as benzema is going to push it down got a mark benzema as well another fantastic player that can do a lot of damage. And as he's got older, he's just got better. Elder Costa's made a good run. We're going to play it there. Like I see the back stick. I'm going to try and put a bit of whip on it over him. I put more, At least I put whip on it and we got it back stick. But he does get cleared out by Real Madrid. Play the throwing short to Brian Gill. Play it back to him. Good football. Rakic's there. Finds a gap. Oh, no, he doesn't. Casemiro, with his octopus legs, just springs it out to get that ball back off him. And Valverde's going to break down this left-hand side for them. Oh, no, oh, he's going to run all the way back to his goal. That's fine. That's fine, too. As Militao brings this out, plays it to Casemiro. Good build-up play for them. Tony Cruz, another clinical player with the ball. If you need that man passing or shooting, he is who you want there. As Vinicius Jr. tries to do the fancy stuff, it doesn't pay off. As Al Costa brings it out now with great football from our Valencia side. I see Maximiliano making a run. It's a bad ball. Oh, that's a great pass from Real Madrid. Just splitting the defence as Valverde is here. Try and do his magic, but Akanji, the absolute monster machine, gets the ball. And it's a great little playthrough. And we break. Oh, no, no, no. We don't break with that. We do not break with that. As they push now, as our players are all at sixes and sevens from that attack. They try counter, but Akanji tries to get it. What a block. Double block from Akanji. Brilliant play. Oh, it's another bad pass in there. This could lead to a goal. Uh, says a kick, but Sillison doesn't recognize your five flags. So he has to pull the save off from Vinicius, and we get away with that one, as we see here. You can tell when I'm getting into a game, guys, because my head slowly disappears off the camera. The ball gets played down. Brian Gill, offside or onside? Onside. Oh, that touch was so bad. And Militao just put him in his place and sat him down on his backside. Says, not today. Not today. As Camavinga plays it through. Can we get the ball? Yes, Sillison. Great coming out and de dealing with the situation there. Not being afraid. Putting a foot in. Doesn't mind taking a stud or two. He'd love to see that as Alder Costa's wide open on that wing there. Well played, Rakik. Dodo. Dodo. Oh! <laughs> yes! What a ball from Rakig. Splits the Real Madrid defence. And our first shot from Duro coming in for Guedes is slotted away with his left and puts us 1-0 up at the Bernabeu. What a goal that was on the stroke of half time as well. Fantastic result for us there. Makes that team talk a little bit easier when we get in there. Got to try and maintain it. Got to look for these very fast, solid players and try and edge them out of the game. And hopefully we can carry on with this. Real Madrid push down this left-hand side with Vinicius Jr. Using his pace and his trickery with his feet. He is so agile and his agility is through the roof. It's really difficult to defend with and it is quite nice to see as well as it really puts you through. It is Benzema towers over the head. But who was that? Was that, was that Solaire? I know, Paulista on his backside. He was like, get out of here, son. You're not even on my level. Unbelievable. From <laughs> from Benzema. Wow. Salda Costa makes a good run. Oh, why did he not play? Was he offside or something? It's Val Verdi. Ooh, push it through. That's offside, isn't it? Does it? Oh, Sillison. No, it's not offside. Are you kidding me? Ball plays back. Oh, we get away with it, though. I thought I was offside. I kind of like down tools, as you should know. Ladies and gentlemen, play to the referee's whistle no matter what. You play to the whistle, not what you think. As we... Misplays a pass. It comes through. Keeper again. Yes, he gets that one. Fantastic play. 
And we're going to bring this out now. Nice and easy, Rakic. Nothing silly. Try play for the open guy. Or Militao's just going to bully us off the ball. But we do still get it back. Rakic's going to play a bad pass yet again. Finds their players. Alder Costa, that was meant to be. Making a good run again. Costa, back from injury, making nice runs, which we like to see. As Vinicius Junior makes a fantastic turn. And we get away with one of the most disgusting tackles I think I've ever witnessed in the game of FIFA. How that is not a red card, never mind, not a foul, is beyond me. We have got away big time there. So we're going to try and play this all the way back now and just... Try and keep a little bit of patience and keep some possession to gain a bit of confidence on the ball. And that is not how you gain confidence on the ball. By passing that ball into the middle to one of the white shirts. Vasquez with the ball. Lovely play to Valverde. Going to find Camavinga. These are pushing up now as I'm seeing the center mids in the striker position. Good play. Valverde's going to push into the side. Good ball roll to Benzema. Solison with a great save. And he catches the... I thought, the, I thought he gave that as a goal then. It's, he's giving to him a foul, thankfully. I honestly thought he gave that as a goal and I was going to cry. As we bring this out short with a Kanji. Plays it into the middle to Soler. We're going to push forward now. I made Brian Gill go on that run. See if he can do anything. Nice little fake shot. Finds the gap again. Soler, Rakic, Talda Costa. Rakic. Finds, oh, finds Duro, but Duro gets his blocked. And unfortunately, we do not get the shot off. As now Real Madrid look to counter-attack as a great pass back. As we went in for the diving tackle there, it wasn't meant to be. As Rakic is after that ball. Benzema, great touch and control. Don't let him overlap, don't let him overlap. As Modric is now on the field. Oh dear, I didn't realise Modric was on. It's a good play, Benzema pushing in. Finds Casemiro. We're just going to jockey. Nothing nothing silly as Cruz tries to rifle one through. It was not enough to beat our defenders, never mind our goalkeeper. And we do break with this. Can we hit a counter-attack? We've got to play it smart. We've got to play it smart. That is not, that's not smart from Carrera as he trips over his own feet and plays the ball out. I shouldn't laugh, but yeah, that, that has made me laugh. Ball gets played in. Can we get a big head? Yes, we can. Batista, because Benzema isn't there, can win the header. And we get the seconds off Brian Gill. Can we get it? It's a great ball. We're going to break with Soler. Not the fastest player, but he's going to run. Ed Militao is catching up with him. He needs cut in. Do something special. Brian Gill. One more to Costa. Back to Doro, to Gil. Oh, it was a great chance for Maximiliano, but it wasn't meant to be. Another good block from the Real Madrid defence as they are going to push out for this final attack. He's heading Hazard down at this left-hand side, causing his havoc, cutting in. Brings out one of our centre-offs. Can he get a ball whipped in? It's a great play. I need an header there. Great header from Soler, doing his defensive duties, and another winner by Doro, showing his dominance in the air. And we play to Alder Costa doesn't we get three points at the burn of boy you come on massive result keeping that win streak on and a huge three points getting us closer to the champions league spots come on so the third game of the day is going to be against Sevilla. It's at home, so we need to win. Remember, the board wants us to win 12 games at home, which is going to be difficult. Also, Sevilla sit in fifth. If we win against Sevilla, that puts us on 36 points. Uh, do you mind top goal scorers? I'm looking at that. We puts us on 36, only two points behind him, and we can take a big leap over Atletico, Bilbao, and Espanyol. So these are massive games for us right now, and we need the wins ASAP. So let's get into the Sevilla one, try and get the win. Duro is remaining in that spot. Guedes is obviously still injured for a couple of weeks. I might dip into the transfer window, guys, and bring in another CF, just because it's January, and obviously losing Guedes is a big loss. And then we've got rotation as well, so the realistic rebuild kind of thing is still there because we've got a kanji in and then we'll bring one more player in that's going to be a cf and that'll basically see the squad out for the rest of the season but let's get into severe let's stop rattling on we have been playing some unbelievable football at this minute and getting some unbelievable results we really need have a breather now we really need to try and carry on this form because we are playing good we are playing really well i feel like we have got better as the season has gone on definitely have and getting the results that we have as well is just proving that point. So we need to kind of muster up our ideas in a little bit of like sort of this stuff out that we keep dwindling on. Okay, that was a foul. I get that. We're going to play it short. But I think we got a chance to be even better at what we do. Ball's getting brought out down this right-hand side with Sevilla. That's a good knock. Can we get a winner? Polista, that's yours. Ooh, okay. Rakitic. I didn't realize Rakitic was that big. Wow. He kind of the same height as Pool. 
uh, Pulesta. I did not know that. As the ball gets played, that's another injury for us as well. As Gomez is there. Oh, what a save from Sillison. What another save! The double save! Sillison! Reactions of a cat! Is that Spider-Man in goals? I swear it is. He's got his spidey senses on because they are unbelievable reactions there. A great play. Can we deal with the cross? Oh, it's a good pass again as they break down this left-hand side. Good pass into the centre. Racket kick all day long. Oh, Sillison with a fantastic save. Knocking it out there. And we do get lucky. As the ball's going to play in. It's referee. Are we, ref, how's that How's that come off us? What is going on? <sighs> Another corner taking short. Gomez is doing his magic again. With Rakitic there. Good play. Great play. Shielding off. We know we... Oh, hello. Where's my team gone? Good blocks. We're going to... Ah! Come on. Aldo Costa. Please, it's got to block Gomez. We get it out, luckily. It's only going to come back in, though, because it only gets out to Fernandinho. The Man City Fernandinho. What a signing that is for them. Aldo... Ah, what are we doing? Oh, he's offside. Right, so let's have a big, big, big breather right now because we are playing unbelievably bad. So let's just chill the hell out, pass the ball like we did against Real Madrid, and we can do this. We can beat these, no problem at all. How the cost is running is brilliant. He's been doing really well for us. His execution is not the best, but his running is top draw, and I can't fault it as we overrun that with Carrera, and we give it one of the danger men in Gomez, and we just professional foul. We take that yellow card from Rakic, and we just stop Gomez from getting any further. Great tackle. That's a bad, oh, it's a bad touch. That's a great, great interception from Doro. He needs help, though. Got to go back, got to go back. Costa's going to get the ball. Someone comes through. I need help, I need help. There we go. That's the one, that's the one. All the way across. Doro making a good run. Doro making a good run. And Doro finds the slot. Exact same goal that we scored against Real Madrid in the same minute as well. In the extra time of our time. Slots it away with his left. Makes a fantastic run. Spreads off the defender and across the goalkeeper. And gives us a one goal lead. Hugo Doro. You are the man. Sevilla coming straight out the blocks at half time with a long strike, but Sillison equal to it. That is catching practice for him. We don't need to worry about that stuff. As we bring this ball out now, Brian Gill on this left hand side. Good passing in the centre with Soler. The pass is on. It's a great pass to Maximiliano. Finds Brian Gill overlapping. It's a poor touch from Brian. I think we need a left mid as well, personally, because he's not the best. I know he's on loan. We'll take him for the season, but I would. If I was going to do next season, I'd potentially bring in another left mid because Brian Gill is not the one. As Gomez plays a dangerous ball, but Kanji is there. Gets muscled off. Oh, good save from Sillison. I was kind of sucked in the breath as anticipation as a Kanji got muscled off. And hopefully we just did enough then to put the striker off. And Sillison with a nice save down to his left. Puts him out of play. Corner going to get whipped in. Can we get a big header away? We can't. But we do pick up that loose ball. As a great... A compass. A referee. That He kind of tripped him up. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because we're going to push forward. Great ball from Akanji. Finds Brian Gill. Oh, Brian. 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 All our players are forward except for our defenders. This is not good. This is how counter-attacks happen. We need a winner there. Carrera. You absolute beautiful human being. Let's go. Aldo Costa. Make that run. Make that run, buddy. He does make the run. Cut in. Cut in again. Dodo. One more. Oh. It's an unbelievable interception. That could have led to a goal as a bad ball from... Ooh. Well, a bad ball from both of us, but we do get out of it on top, luckily. This ball's going to play. Dodo, what are you doing with the back heels there, buddy? Not the time, but we still get away with this. I don't know how they have got that ball, but my commentary is all over the place because the ball is getting switched over so fast. It's unbelievable as a Kanji gets in there, muscles him out, and he keeps it in play. What an absolute monstrous centre-off we've got around here, and what a signing he has been for us. Proving influential in this team. As Brian Gill does get away with that. And it's a good touch, Brian Gill. It's a bad pass. Brian Gill's passing is so poor. It's unbelievable. As we had a fantastic chance there to double our lead. And pretty much right off this Sevilla side. Aldo Costa's going to bring it forward. Oh, I, may, I saw Doro making a fantastic run. But I just bat, backed out of it. As we see... Costa making a good run. It's a good touch. Can he get the whip in? Great interception there. And we got blocked out. There's Rakitic plays it out to Gomez. The two that I was scared of linking up. They are the dangerous threat in this Sevilla side. We eliminate them. We pretty much eliminate Sevilla as an attacking front. Bouncing past players. 
and he does upset himself there by tripping up himself as we keep this ball now we're going to push into this corner just run all the way up we've got two minutes plus out of time i see brian gill actually but the less we speak about that the more i think I th oh no there's no way right there's no way right there's no way right there's no way right oh my days guys and breathe we do get the win that was the last attack and i thought he was going to play the ball all the way across to brian gill and he was going to knock it in for an easy tap in no he just flicks it in the air gives them a chance and they go up through one goal luckily we see it out and it's another win for us guys this episode has been three wins can we get four wins out of four this time we're going to sim it let's get straight into it as you saw, guys, that's three out of three. Can we make it four with an away game at two? Atletico Madrid. Also, if we win this, we go one point behind them. So one point from the Champions League spot. Can you remember previously when I was saying 14 points with a game in hand? We have now clawed it back to four points. So 10 points deficit. We have eliminated and we've still got a chance to get into the champions league with this team so let's get into atletico madrid game let's quick sim it pray for the fifa gods that they're on our side and we perform really well as we try and get another clean sheet on our hands. oh it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be we got absolutely pumped as carrera got an hat trick there Oh, no, sorry. Carrera got two and Carrasco got one. Maximiliano Gomez on the score sheet as well. It wasn't meant to be. We can't have it all. Guns smelling of roses and whatever you want to call it. We can't. We have to have some defeat. And Atletico Madrid, sure, give us that. But it is the end of the episode and we've had a fantastic one here. That does open the gap up, though, I'm pretty sure. Let me just have a double check there if the standings. As you can see, that keeps us eighth, which is not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. And then we are... Eight points off. No, sorry, we're not eight. We're seven points off the Champions League spots. We just need to keep performing. We are only three points off Europa League, which is massive for us as well. So if we carry on this form, we can do really, really well. But guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. We will come back to the Real Betis game and the Copa Espanyol. We want to win this cup. So I'm going to be playing these games and we're going to have a couple of cup runs. We'll do another month. So we'll after January, we will do February. So we'll do January and February and we'll go monthly on these episodes. If you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. Always nice to talk to you guys to show me and tell me how this save is going. And if you're enjoying it and who should we bring in? Remember, we still got seven days of January. Who should we bring in? Let me know as we try and find another CF. But guys, it's been a fantastic one. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to see more content from me, head over to Twitch, www.twitch.tv forward slash take one for seven, where you'll see me stream live in, uh, what? Like you'll see me live streaming every single day except for Tuesday and Thursdays. But once again, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Much love and bye-bye.